Nothing to hide. I saw your email address on Ashley Madison. <laughs> <laughs> I was just trying to reconnect with an old friend, you know, to sleep with him. <laughs> what are you doing on there? Oh, uh, I'm uh, the algorithm that was used to hack the website. Oh, virus, that is filthy. I know. Just like our next presenter is filthy <laughs> rich with wisdom on how to succeed in tech today. Please welcome Aaron Timms of Cage Free Data and Bareback Ventures. <laughs> Native France began work on expanding this, the Palace Versailles. Today, millions of tourists visit Versailles to take in the magnificence of its lush interiors and exquisite gardens. And in 1919, Versailles became the venue for the signing of the treaty that ended World War I. In 2006, Steve Jobs launched this, the iPhone. A product as magnificent in its own way as the Palace of Versailles. <laughs> Today, you can negotiate the equivalent of the Treaty of Versailles in the palm of your own hand. You don't need a palace. The palace is here. You can renegotiate the end of World War I in real time using Skype. WhatsApp, or Facebook Messenger. Maybe not Facebook Messenger. <laughs> Just a couple of quick swipes and bang, German post-war reparations done. <laughs> what is the point of all this? 2015, today, is your opportunity to build the Palace of Versailles. Not literally, that's already been done. <laughs> Figuratively, this is your chance to build something magnificent and beautiful that can change the course of history. I hear a couple of you laughing. Not that many. <laughs> I get that a lot. You know, <clears throat> when I first had the idea for cage-free data, <laughs> five years ago, five years ago, back in the old country, New Zealand or South Africa or wherever it is I'm from. <laughs> a lot of people laughed. The idea of combining mindfulness, the organic farm-to-table movement in food and digital assets seemed ludicrous to many. But I had something they lacked. Conviction. I firmly believe that for too long we have treated data the wrong way. We all use data every day, but how many of us treated data well. <laughs> Mistreatment of data was written into the very language we use to describe our interactions with it. We gathered data. We cleaned data. We scrubbed data. We manipulated data. We crunched data! has feelings. <laughs> data gets sad. <laughs> data has hopes and aspirations just like you and me. Data wants to live. <laughs> data wants to live. Just give data a chance to live. The idea behind cage-free data was to change all that. <laughs> it's CFD. We don't crunch data, we partner with data. No data point in the ecosystem we have built goes unloved. 
people said it was a ridiculous idea, but just look at the results today. The, virtually every major corporation on the planet has taken its data cage free. We've changed yeah. data and changed the world. Now, who's laughing? It all just goes to show, if people aren't laughing when you come up with your original business idea, you're not thinking radically enough. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the first piece of advice I want to give.